Okay, guys, here is another update. So listen carefully. Yeah, I so expect on the fundamental. Somebody has to wait for two years before they can actually request for um, to get back their document. This is very serious. <laughs> it has gotten to this extent now. Remember that I made a video previously telling you people that was after I returned back from uh, my travel to Ghana um, earlier. That was last year now. I think around um, um, October. Yeah. I made a video because I went to Questura to, you know, renew my document. And they, when they gave me an appointment for renewal, I shouted. And I was like, I've never experienced such thing before. So it, it, is a, it, it, is, it has now become a new norm. Okay. So as at then, they were still giving like eight months, seven months, some people 10 months. So I went around and I asked people, I said, Wow, look at what is going on at the Questura. Is this normal or is there a problem? Am I into Allah? They say, no, that this is the new normal. Now, the one that is shocking me now is about these guys that were interviewed. Now, according to what they said, they said that he has to wait for two years. The appointment they gave him is two years. He will now wait for two years before he can go back to the Questura to retrieve his document. They gave him two years appointment. And what does that mean is that it means that he will not have document for two years. He has to be on waiting for two years. Um, this thing don't talk madness. This has become madness. Because I don't understand how somebody will have to wait for two years. It, it's, as, it's as good as not having any document in the country. So why is Italy being this wicked? It's what I don't understand. So what is in the Questura that is stopping them from renewing document for people? You claim that you have given people asylum, you have given them document to work. And it is not as if that these people are not contributing to your economy. I'm going to allow them to speak whenever the video comes up on a volume. I'm going to allow it uh, to speak. So it's not as if these people does not work. These people has nothing to offer you. These people are workers for crying out loud. So why Italo they do like this? Why are not they, they wicked? And it is mostly to Africans. All these uh, Morukino, where we say that they con co commit crimes up and down. They, they will not sanction them. They will not treat them like that. They will give them documents. The same people who they will say is uh, uh, giving them problems. They are the ones. They will give them papers. But people who are working genuinely, doing the need for, struggling to make a living, they will give them hell on earth. So why? Because this thing is mostly happening to black people. I don't know about um, all these uh, white Moroccino and uh, uh, Libyans and uh, all those Masari that has uh, the same color with them. But as far as these people are concerned, um, it is us that are facing the hardest. Yeah, I so expect on the fundamental. Issa viene dal Senegal e a Merano lavora come aiuto cuoco. Il suo permesso di soggiorno è scaduto e l'appuntamento all'ufficio immigrazione è a marzo, non ora, ma nel 2026. Nel frattempo come documento è costretto a utilizzare il cos... Ok, non ora. The appointment is non ora, it's not now. By 2026, that is 2026. And we are just beginning 2024, my God. That is after next year has expired... After this year has finished totally, next year we finish totally. Then we enter into 2026. That is when he is, uh, the, the questura is saying that they are going to give him uh, his document. That is when they are going to renew it for him. What is the reason behind this thing? Uh, do we really have a, a union, a platform where we can uh, actually organize ourselves and hit the street in demanding an end? To this kind of um, siege or nonsense or plague, what would I call it? I don't even know how to name it. Because this is absolute wickedness. There is nothing to, you know, uh, uh, um, to, to, you know, qualify it with except this wickedness. How long I will give person two years? Somebody who has gotten document, you now give the person two years. The person cannot travel to meet family. The person cannot travel outside Italy with that paper that they will give to him. So you want to gog the person. So what kind of 
uh, um, a favor is that? What kind of asylum is that? So Italy is now getting uh, um, worse every day. It is no longer business as usual. Eh? Let's continue to listen to them. Now watch detto cedolino, ovvero un foglietto di carta senza fotografia, davanti al quale molti datori di lavoro e proprietari di case rimangono comprensibilmente scettici. È la stessa situazione in cui si trovano diversi migranti che in riva al passirio hanno deciso di unire le forze lanciando una petizione online in cui chiedono al commissariato e alla giunta comunale di velocizzare le pratiche. Per cercare un lavoro è difficile, anche per cercare una casa è molto molto difficile. Con questa Cerellino eh, non è una cosa tanti conoscono, datori di lavori e eh, anche per eh, affitto, eh, bloccano tante cose, sai. È un paradosso, evidenziano, perché in questo momento in Alto Adige c'è un'ampia offerta di lavoro, ma i tempi lunghi della burocrazia rendono più difficile l'assunzione di persone straniere. Due anni di appuntamento è difficile, è tanto è lungo. Se non puoi andare dal tuo paese il lavoro due anni non puoi andare al tuo paese, anche non puoi fare contratto dove tu non mai lavorare. Quando tu hai lavoro con una fabbrica magari loro conoscono, ma quando per andare al altro nuovo non puoi lavorare. Per questo ho ricevuto. Sempre loro hanno detto no, permesso di soggiorno. Sono già più di 200 le firme raccolte su Open Petition. Intanto i promotori hanno chiesto e ottenuto un incontro con il sindaco. Okay, guys, I believe you heard that. So I don't know why the government is um, keeping it so so long now in Italy. This one, eh? <laughs> oh, guy, don't spoil you. Uh, two years, two years to renew the <laughs> permesso de sojourner. Permesso de sojourner that was like, I think um, when we had the, the six months on, one year on, it was just six months. No, not even two months, three months you have renewed. Your appointment highest is three months. You just go there and pick it up. Now it's two years. What is going on? What? I don't understand this. So there is something really fishy going on with these people that we have not been able to understand. It, it, it was before um, um, protection special. If they renew it for you, the they document will go from there. Reason why? I don't know. So what is the essence of giving someone document? It's not that the person committed crime or the person has committed no crime just because you, you are in the country. You have not committed any offense, but you take the document away from the person and tell the person to go and start seeking asylum. Or girl, uh, if you have given somebody document, mark the person as given. Don't put I there again and start, except maybe the person must have committed a very serious crime that warrants you to seize his document. Okay, fine, good. Uh, but not for somebody who is working. You heard him. He was saying that to, to go to your country, you won't be able to do that for two years. To find a work is impossible. Then to rent a house. Ooh, <laughs> that is a no-go area. So you can't even operate a bank account if you don't have a document in Italy. So why is this so? This is very, very unfortunate and unacceptable. I beg, the Italian government needs to do something about it. What's your own take on this? Please drop your comment and let us know. I'll be glad to hear from you. And don't forget to share this video to create awareness. Because those people who are running to Italy now, people who get document, <laughs> now while I to renew ammo, I don't know if they are even going to be given to new people. Now while I be that too. Thank you.